hello friends how are you i think you must have been fit and fine and this is pravesh choudhary i welcome to all, all of you once again on this learning platform and uh, today we are going to discuss about as you can see on the screen uh, the topic is visible on the computer screen the christian writers of the anglo saxon period and uh, basically the time period is 450 to 1050 fine <coughs> and uh, the main writer which we are going to re uh, cover uh, the bede and kidman and uh, sinwolf and uh, students this is the part first okay and the second part the remaining part of this uh, video this lecture would be produced later right and uh, before proceeding before proceed on the video on this lecture that i would like to humbly request to all of you that please subscribe the channel if you didn't subscribe the channel yet guys then please subscribe first and uh, share the channels share the videos in your friend circles all right and uh, yeah that's all and uh, as you can see the topic the christian writers of the anglo, anglo saxon period the time period is 450 to 1050 so let's move the very first slide here on your computer screen <coughs> sorry so students as you can see on the screen here uh, first of all we are uh, i would like to uh, introduce a brief note about the background right let's see what happens let's go through the paragraph here the very first paragraph uh, in the very first line here the literature of this period falls naturally into two divisions pagan and christian what it means friends here pagan means uh, you know uh, they are something like uh, uh, the persons uh, related to religion right the pagan and the former represents the poetry which the anglo saxons probably pro brought with them in the form of oral sects actually they are the people they were the peoples of uh, like sects saints right uh, they were the writer especially persisting on on the on their creatures here the crude material out of which literature was slowly developed on english soil here the writer is saying telling us that the crude material of this era was slowly developing on the english soil right i hope you must have been, must have been under, understanding okay and uh, let's move next the later represents the writings developed under teaching of the monks actually the whole writing developed under the monk teaching sex teaching you can say saint teachings after that all pagan religion had vanished and you know what happened later that the pagan religion had come to an end here and but while it is still retained its hold on the life and language but you know what uh, is uh, happening further that uh, the its uh, hold it hold it retained its hold on the life and language of the people especially english people right in reading our earliest poetry you know the writer is persisting over here that uh, when they read their earlier earliest poetry this it was well to remember that all of it was copied by the monks that they found that most of the part was copied by the monks right and seems to have been more or less altered to give it a religious coloring and sometimes it seems like or that it has been altered very less right to give it a religious color fine i hope you guys must have understood let's move on this second paragraph here the coming of christianity meant not simply a new life and leader for england you know what does it mean that uh, the coming to the christianity meant not simple introduction a new life or a new leader for the england right but what actu actually it means the uh, wealth you know here look at here the wealth of a new language you know the exposure the exposure of a new language right the scope is now replaced by the literary monks and that monk though he living among common people and speaks with the english tongue right you know what does it mean here writer further insisting that uh, these literary monks are living among the common people and they speak english language you know but even after that 
has behind him all the culture and literary resources of the latin language but you know what uh, they still having the resources of the latin language right the effect is seen instantly in early prose and poetry you know what here the writer persistently saying that the effect was shown in early prose and poetry so this is a brief note it was a brief note about the background of these uh, writers especially of anglo saxon period right and this is the next slide over here on your computer screen friends and the term is you are looking at here that northumbrian literature it must be a new term for some of the students right let's see let's go through the paragraph what has been uh, narrated here thus in in general two great scholars of christian influence came to england fine two christian right great schools of christian influence came to england and speedily put an end to frightful wars and uh, that had waged continually among the various petty kingdoms of anglo saxon what does it mean friends here that the two great school of christian influence came to in england and they speedily put an end to frightful wars ferocious war terrible wars right and that had which that had started which means which means started continually among the various petty kingdoms that was come came to an end right and the first of these under the leadership of augustine right there was a uh, king augustine actually the all these events was happening under the leadership of augustine right came from rome that he came from rome it spread in the south and center of england and he spread uh spread all these you know terror activities or war like activities in the south and center of england especially in the kingdom of essex fine essex was a part of england and it founded schools and partially educated the rough people what they further did that they founded schools and partially educated the rough people rough people you know it you know what rough people means uncivil undecent people right they uh, educated them fine but it produced no lasting literature what does it mean friends here uh, they produced uh, the literature education over there but that was no longer uh, available right that was not going to be uh, put stay very long for for a long time right the other under the leadership of this saintly aden and here the another leader came into existence right uh, they made entry he made entry in the unit the name was aden he was naturally by nature he was a saint like tendency right he had came from ireland which country had been for century a center for education and religion for all western europe and you know what here friends the which country had been a centuries had been a center right for centuries and for the education and religion for all western europe right the monks of this school labored chiefly in northumbria and the monks of this school labored chiefly in northumbria uh, northumbria you know is a place in england right i hope uh, and the writer is what uh, was talking about this place and uh, to their influence english nations and he further claimed that uh, we we owed old means they gratitude they accepted gratitude that uh, all the best which was the best in anglo saxon literature right it is called the northumbrian school and the, it was called the northumbrian school fine its center was the monasteries and abbey and the center was in monasteries and abbeys such as jarrow and white by jarrow and white by is a place or the place in england right ancient place you can say primitive places right and uh, its three greatest names are bede cadman and kenwulf you know friends here you can look over these three names uh, here the bede cadman and kenwulf uh, i would like to inform you so i would like to add some point here that these are the three uh, famous writer in ancient english in primitive english culture right and uh, they were uh, they were from the uh, the old ancient period anglo saxon period right and we are going to cover all these three 
writers in upcoming videos the very first writer today we will cover uh, we will talk about Bede here so let's see on the let on the next uh, slide over here this this the Bede right the time period is 6732735 right and uh, let's see go through the passage over here the very first paragraph <coughs> The venerable Bede means the venerable, respected, honorable, you can say Bede, as he is gently called, he is gently called first English greater scholar. He was called the first English greater scholar, fine, and uh, the father of English learning. This is the very most important question as per your examination point of view, students. You can write down here, you can save it for, re uh, you can recall it later. The father of English learning, who is the father of English learning? The old English, right? Uh, the name is great scholar Bede, right? Wrote almost exclusively in Latin, but he mostly he wrote exclusively in Latin language, yeah, right? His last work, the translation of the Gospel of John into Anglo-Saxon. Gospel means here a creature like uh, related to their religion, English religion, uh, uh, Catholic uh, or you can say Catholic uh, related uh, any creature. He uh, translated in the Anglo-Saxon, right? Having been unfortunately lost, but you know what happened later? Unfortunately, that was lost. Much of the English regret and much to the English regret. And you know what? The English persons are very regretted for the for it. They sought repentance that they, that they lost the, this valuable creature, right? Therefore, his books and the story of his gentle, heroic life must be excluded from the history of English literature. And that's why here the writer is mentioning that the, it was the major reason that the, that the main famous creatures of this writer was excluded from the history of English literature, right? That was a major drawbacks of English literature. His works over 40 number and his works were over 40 in number covered the whole field of human knowledge and they covered the complete field of human knowledge in his days, right? And were so admirably written and that were written so admirably, right? That they were widely copied as textbooks and further they were copied in as a textbooks or rather manuscripts, fine. In nearly all the monastery schools of Europe, near about in uh, approximately uh, in every monastery schools of Europe, Let's see on the very on the next paragraph here, friends. Uh, the very first line here: the work most important to us in in the uh, is the ecclesiastical history of the English people. What does it mean? This is the term ecclesiastical. Uh, sorry, ecclesiastical history means uh, something related to the church uh, kind of acti activities. Something rel related to church, right? It is a fascinating history it was a very fascinating history to read even now and you can it uh, may be read even now and uh, with this curious combination of accurate scholarship and immense credulity you know what we, there was a very curious eager combination of accurate scholarship and immense immense uh, you can say the uh, very extensive extensively written Crudility. Crudility means uh, the uh, the very you know generosity or very uh, easy nature, right? Easy to understand, easy to believe. The person like who uh, who consider the things very easily, who believe the things very easily, right? That uh, he may be uh, deceived by the people's right very easily. So it's something like this. Crudility means yeah. And uh, in all strictly historical matters, bad is a model. What writer further saying that uh, in all strictly historical matters, Bede was a model, right? Every known authority on this subject, from Pileni to Gildas, Pileni and Gildas, the, these uh, were the two eminent uh, uh, personality or celebrities in the English history, English literature history. He is uh, compared, uh, you know, he is compared uh, the Bede with these two. Uh, generous people's uh, you can say the uh, celebrity as, as per the English literature over here he was comparing with them right bad day was carefully was carefully considered fine 
every learned pilgrim to rome every learned pilgrim uh, to rome was commissioned by bede was commissioned means was showed by bede to ransack the rc that's it whatever whoever gone to rome he was commissioned by bede to ransack means uh, to rob to rob or stealing stealing the archives right and to make copies and further they can make copies of the creature of the bede right behalf of the creatures of the bede right to papal decrees to papal decrees uh, something like papal related pope fine pope decrees uh, decrees means uh, decisions you can say the uh, the authority the author authority uh, uh, any uh, uh, government uh, authority like uh, decision which is passed by the government or central government like something uh, like this decree you can say and royal letters fine and to these were added the testimony of abbots and further these documents were added to the testimony testimony means uh, you can say as a proof evidence of abbots abbots the uh, is a you know religious place uh, like something like monasteries right old monasteries old schools of cultures heritage and education right who could speak from personal knowledge and and uh, they can and further the personnel uh, the teachers who uh, teach there they speak from personal knowledge of events or repeat the traditions of their several monasteries or can repeat their tra traditions right of their several monasteries fine so i hope uh, guys you must have really enjoyed it and you can save these notes for and these notes are very important very significant as per your examination point of view like if you are preparing for the examination like tgt pgt uh, and uh, ugc net so this is very very important for you right you can save it and you can uh, prepare for for it right right let's move on the next and that last slide of the of this lecture uh, let's bed it and side by side with this historical exactness are marvelous stories of saints and missionaries actually side by side this historical exactness are marvelous are popular stories of saints and missionaries it was an age of credulity and miracles actually it was an age of very uh, you can say very easy nature or very intelligence very helpful or very uh you can supportive nature you can say and the miracles were in men's minds these kind of attributes qualities were in the men's minds right the miracles like and the man of whom he wrote lived lives more wonderful than any romance actually they believe most they believed most these kind these kind of wonderful creatures uh, even ra rather than the romance right and their courage and gentleness made a tremendous impression their great boldness and gentleness made a uh, outstanding impression on the rough on the rough people war like people they the people who were very rude in nature they converted in a soft nature right you can say here gentle like humble uh, and they were converted in the nobility right you can say people to whom they came with open her hands and hearts actually whatever invader are coming in the country right uh, uh you know they carried with them the some you know very noble persons uh, were uh, in the form of writers right and uh, reformers and they were uh, with open hands and hearts right it is the natural way all primitive people to magnify to work of their heroes act it was the natural way of all primitive ancient peoples to magnify the work of their heroes right it was the way that uh, they can magnify their heroes work and so deeds of heroism and kindness and like this uh, the all the deeds of their heroism and kindness which were part of the daily life of the irish missionaries and it was the part of the every day it was the every day part of the irish missionaries were soon transformed into miracles of the saints and soon it was transformed into a miracles of the saints bede believed these things right as all other men did that they also believed these facts all o as all other men did and records them recorded them with charming simplicity with very beautified simplicity attractive simplicity right just as he received them from bishop or abbot like he received from the uh, uh, cultural uh, bishop cultural bishop or monastery you can say these are the same meanings right not with the standing in its errors he was not with the errors right the english or 
to this work the english person was very happy affectionate fascinate and they showed their gratitude their gratitude right towards these works nearly all their knowledge of eight centuries uh, near about it was uh, the writer was talking about the about uh, Eight centuries, right, of the English history. Fine, and it was the time of Julius Caesar when the Julius Caesar was uh, going to land on the English soil, right, and that uh, basically the writer was telling about the time, right. So I hope, guys, you must have really enjoyed this uh, uh, near about thirty uh, minutes lecture. Okay. and uh, i sincerely appeal to all of you that please support us please give your precious like comments and share actually we need a great support from all of you guys uh, to flourish in our channel to uh, grow uh, is actually uh, we need a continuous support from all of you guys and uh, you guys uh, are uh, giving you the support and expect to be uh, in the future as well we expect Uh, a lot of support a lot of love from all of you guys and uh, we are firmly committed uh, deliver our level best and uh, we are committed to post to deliver quality every uh, quality videos you know in the future as well and uh, for that we need your support your truly support guys so please so please uh, give your support and Uh, subscribe the channel right so i uh, this is the time to say goodbye friends and uh, ho now uh, let's meet again in the second part of this video till then bye thank you thank you so much